coffee. So living in our current world is um, challenging. Having to live in a world where you must wear a mask anytime that you're in a public space can be really difficult. There are some people that refuse to do it entirely. And it's interesting, these people that cannot wear a mask even for an hour while essential workers might be wearing them the entire day. And while wearing a mask all day can be really unfortunate, not only for your oxygen levels, can be unfortunate for other reasons as well. And one reason I found out, which I'll go into later in the video, was totally unexpected. So while living in the age of Corona 2020 can be really difficult, it also gave me a wonderful opportunity to study facial expression and how this affects our behavior. So a little background, I've been working in a coffee shop for quite some time because my parents own one. I noticed that the tips were much different with the mask on and I wanted to know a little bit more about this and how the mask affects our psychology as customers. For social psychology, I set up a project so that I could study this. And here's how it went. I had three masks. One with a happy face, one with a sad face, and one with no face at all. I made them myself so that they would be completely white and neutral. My hypothesis was that the sad face would not make very many tips at all. In working in customer service, they always tell you to smile, and people that are grumpy <laughs> or look kind of sad usually do not make as many tips. So while researching for this project, I couldn't find anything on masks. It's way too new of a thing to have happened. The closest thing that I could find were studies on emoticons. Emoticons simplify and quantify real emotions. And it turns out that the brain can recognize this emotional content even though it doesn't light up the amygdala, which is where the brain processes these emotional things. I found that not only do people recognize emotions and respond to emotions in the brain from emoticons, but they also process it a little bit differently. In a study of 723 different drawings of smiley faces from people, <laughs> they found a significant difference between how women and men draw smiley faces and how elderly and youth draw faces. There needs to be more studies on why this is, that especially men and women draw faces much differently. Maybe they look at faces differently and then it simplifies in a different way for them. If you're an essential worker, you need to listen. <laughs> Since I did not want any confounding factors, I wore all black to work. I had my hair tied up without a band. I wore the same glasses and no makeup every single time. It was very important that I worked at the same location because there are different locations that I work at and it was the same shift. Finally, there were no other employees around. It was just me. Whenever I approach a customer, I do know that the way that you approach a customer can change how they tip you, so I did it exactly the same every single time. I just said, hi, what can I get for you? If they wanted to start a conversation with me, I allowed that but I never initiated a conversation with a customer. For each mask, I was able to collect 10 separate instances of a customer coming in. The customer was always different. I didn't have the same customer coming in for the smiley face or the sad face or the neutral face. It was always a unique customer. Could not be somebody that I knew and it especially could not be somebody that knew about the study. For this happy face, I averaged about a dollar and 20 cents for a tip. For the sad face, I averaged about a dollar. 
Now, during this time in the study, I thought, hmm, this is really interesting. I wonder if people just tip the same thing every single time. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe it's a personal thing. If you want to tip, you tip every single time. However, whenever I got to the neutral face, I averaged 35 cents per person. This is very substantially different than the other faces. This leads me to believe that people respond to emotion, whether it be positive or negative, much more than none at all. This is very surprising and I have been telling all of my friends that are essential workers that they should absolutely wear a mask with some sort of emotion on it. You, <laughs> a happy face, preferably. <laughs> because it has made a difference in the tips that I've gotten. Something to keep in mind with this study was that the sample size was very small. I had 10 people per mask. That's all I had time for. It took me about a month to collect that actually, but just because of all the confounding var variables. It is possible that, that this is completely coincidence. So I'm asking you, if you're an essential worker, if you would like to replicate this study, please do it and send me your data. I would love to look at it and see if this is something that is statistically significant or not. One last thing, if you are an essential worker, thank you so much for um, keeping our economy and country running. <laughs> we appreciate you. You do not get paid enough. I know it. <laughs> so yes, thank you and I hope that if you get a mask with a smiley face that you will get paid a little bit more.